Hello, it's time for another Qigong video. And today I was going to talk to you about uh, the phenomenon called deep power. In uh, Yifa Qigong, deep power can be, can be used to represent a number of different things. But, um, I mean, at its most basic, it can mean any situation where you are feeling in that, um, in that kind of Qigong zone, right? Like, you're doing the practice and it feels really good, or um, any kind of unusual experience that you have around Qigong. But it also has a more specific uh, designation in Yifa Qigong. And in this one, it's deep power is where there is suddenly a disconnect between your conscious mind, your body, and your superior individual, the kind of the higher self. Right. And the way that that manifests usually at the, at the basic levels of practice is that you're, you're doing a Qigong exercise, right? So you've been, you've been going through all the motions in all the different directions, and then you, you end up pushing out the space in the basic exercise, drawing in the breath, and then you come here and then you're in a, in a standing position, right? And the most, the most basic form of deep power, the most common form of deep power, is where you're in a standing position like this one, or later on, like down here, and one of two things happens, right? Either you're mentally telling yourself in some way that you're going to stay in this position for a longer time, and then suddenly your hands start to move of their own accord, it seems, right? Like you, you have no control over it. Um, or just the opposite. You're in this position, you think, okay, I've been here long enough, it's time to move to the next position, and instead your hands can't move. It's like you're stuck. And you also usually experience this feeling of this kind of um, buoyancy, or um, it, it's usually not meant to be a stiff feeling, right? If you're here, again, it's like there's, you can feel the intensity of the chi projecting into the lower dantian, and it feels like um, like a magnet almost, right? That sense of, of, of magnetism that keeps your hands there so you couldn't pull them away even if you wanted to. And so that's the most basic, the most common experience of deep power. It means that in some way you, you're connecting profoundly enough at that moment in the practice that um, you're your body bypasses your conscious mind and goes straight to the superior individual and um, takes its orders from there, right? So you're like, okay, I, I can't move. And then suddenly it's like you get this sense of fullness and okay, now yes, I can move and go down to the next position. Um, this is something that actually ha will happen less over time as you practice. First, it won't happen. Then it'll start to happen. Then it'll start to happen more. And then it'll start to happen less. Because at first, deep power is a sign that you've made progress in the practice, in your cultivation, in your chi breathing. You're drawing um, in more chi. It's circulating, and this is generating for you uh, a level of consciousness that lets those connections start to get made, right? But it's like an imperfect connection in a way. So over time, as you become better at Qigong, those, that, that experience of deep power will happen more and more often. And then as you get better still and you're developing virtue and connecting to the superior individual consciously rather than accidentally, then those things will start to happen less and less because that type of deep power will go away. It, it won't be necessary anymore because there isn't that short circuit. There isn't that, that faulty connection. Now you have a more direct connection. And then deep power kind of becomes something different at the higher levels. But, and it's where you, you have those, those more profound experiences, visions and things like that, um, or experiences of the expansion of the outer body or, or, or those sorts of things that really only happen at those higher levels. So that's everything I wanted to, to mention today. Oh, one more thing, though, that, that there's a big difference between deep power and what we call testing, right? Testing is where you yourself will be in a posture sign and you'll, start, and you'll, you'll recognize, oh, my, my back is wrong or whatever, and you'll make a correction in your posture, right? 
you'll consciously make a correction in your posture, right? Whereas deep power is, a, another way it manifests is that you are uh, in a posture and you don't even realize, but then suddenly your body shifts of its own accord. You're like, oh, wow, okay, yeah, suddenly I'm much more aligned, right? But you hadn't thought to shift your body. Your body shifts itself in reaction to orders from above, right? So that's, that's another manifestation of this deep power phenomenon that happens at lower levels of practice. So that's it for today. If you like the video, please feel free to subscribe and um, to contact me if you're interested in learning more, working with Yi Fa Qi Gong in the context of the Yi Fa Society. Uh, please feel free to leave me a message in, our, in the comments and uh, feel free to, to share this video if you find someone who, who you think might be interested. Thank you very much.